Hi there, Brian Isaacs from Fanboy Factor. I am here with Brian Vokes Weiss. Close enough. Uh, yeah, I always <laughs> It's Vokes Weiss, but Vogue I literally Weiss. could care less. Sorry. I mean, don't be sorry. Uh, we've talked several times. Yeah. It's really great to see you again. Great man. to see you. Now, you've got a lot of things going on yeah, now. Yeah, a little going on. New season of The Toys That Made Us. Two? Two, two, two new seasons. Two se yeah. new seasons. Yeah, it's a continuing Everyone's like, I thought it was only eight eight episodes. Like, <laughs> continuing. continuing. We changed it in season three. Uh, so you added Pokemon, some Happy Meal yep. toys. It's That's the big one. I, I was nervous. Uh, uh, like, uh, there's two episodes I've always wanted to do. Fast food toys and the toys that should have not been made. So <laughs> if, if we do any more seasons, we will definitely get to the toys that should have not been made. Um, but yeah, I was really nervous um, about uh, about doing the fast food episode. So we announced it San Diego, and it, it got the best of like every brand got woo the biggest woo. That's my impression. <laughs> I'm not charging. Um, that the best reaction we got uh, was for fast food. It's it's crazy like yeah. how popular. It's my son used to watch a YouTuber would keep going looking at the old toys like he kept them all. From fast food? From fast food and then unbox, you know, un unbox them and stuff because they haven't been open in like 10 years or yeah. so. Yeah, and, and people don't think of fast food like that typically. But like I have always, and by the way, everyone always thinks about McDonald's and Burger King, honorable mention to uh, Taco Bell. What? Dude, Subway made some of the craziest toys. Um, White Castle made some of the craziest toys. Like, so it's not just, Taco Bell, by the way. I mean, there there must have been a Trekkie at Taco Bell because like their 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 Star Trek three, like they made. This is what again. This is like what a lot of people don't get. In 1980. I think five could have been eighty. No, it was eighty four or eighty five. Star Trek three comes out. Right. Taco Bell had a life size uh, Captain Spock cardboard cutout, weighted at the bottom with enough weight that he could. He's literally holding a tray that the glasses <laughs> could sit on. Oh my! God. And that was in every Taco Bell. So it was like that's what I wanted to capture. Is like that. That stuff, like it's not just the Monopoly yeah, McDonald's, it's, it's so much. I mean, you have the Beanie Babies and, yeah. the, and the Mini Beanie Babies, it's just like, yeah. my, my wife had me drive all around for those. It was just Luckily like, I missed that, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> we, we did have that though with Hello Kitty. About five years ago, Hello Kitty partnered with McDonald's, yeah. and that, my, my wife, uh, we definitely partook in that. <laughs> but it, it's, it's crazy how big that is out of like all the toys and yeah people remember those yeah and we're doing nerf nerf oh it's awesome people forget or not forget but a lot of people don't realize how big nerf is yeah. nerf is huge so yeah two more seasons forgot uh, how it used to be a sports company before it became a gun that's right dark gun gun. yeah um and you also have obtained the license for star trek figures yes can you Talk, can you elaborate on that? I don't know how much. When is this airing? Uh, probably almost. Probably tomorrow. <laughs> I don't want to give it. At what time? Because depending on when you put this out, depends on what I can say or not say. If this is coming out, at, our panel is at 11? Yeah, so if it comes out after 12, then you're good. No, I can wait. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So then I can talk about anything I want. If, if it, So this will be after It'll 12? Yeah, after all my children. Great. Okay, cool. Yeah, so we're starting with a wave of eight figures. They're all going to be about seven inches. And um, what we tried to do, and this was the initial pitch, was to make the characters that either had never, ever been made before okay. or characters that had been made before but never in that costume. So, for example, um, there's been a Captain Archer, there's never been a Captain Archer from a Mirror Darkly. So that, so we're making the arch. So we're doing an Enterprise character. We're doing a Captain, but we're doing him in a, in a uniform that's never been made as a toy. We're doing um, Captain Garrett from yesterday's Enterprise, my favorite episode. <laughs> She's never been made. 
Like Playmates, I always laugh, like Playmates made Salamander Tom Paris, but they didn't make Captain Garrett. They didn't make Captain <laughs> Jellico. Um, so w that's what we're trying to do is make the characters, selfishly speaking, and I know it's funny, but it, it is self selfish. Um, I'm just trying to make the stuff I want on my shelf. So, you know, we also do The Expanse um, for Alcon. It was the same thing. I love The Expanse. Nobody made the toys. We were like, hey, uh, we make toys. <laughs> and it was the, that was the same conversation with Paramount Global, where we were just like, hey, uh, we'd like to do this. And they were like, yeah, let's do it. Yeah. I'm going to ask the, uh, the license for Paramount. Did that also get into the Filmation cartoon? Yes. Oh, so... Yes. Not the possibility of yes. getting some of those characters. Within reason, the only stuff we don't have is what's been coming out over the last five years. Which makes sense. So we don't have Discovery, we don't have Lower Decks, I'm very upset about Lower Decks, and we don't have Strange New Worlds or anything else like that. Um, but So our rights basically end with the last episode of Enterprise okay. and Nemesis. Nice. Nice. How many points of articulation? They should all have 25 to 30 points of articulation. They'll be fully... Our role model is Black Series for Star Wars right. and Classified for G.I. Joe. That makes sense. I don't know if role model was the right term, but I actually went to a baseball game yesterday <laughs> uh, for the, the first time in a while. Um, and uh, you, they, they, I don't know if you know this or not, they start later on the East Coast. Uh, so, uh, yeah, definitely uh, it was late night. But yes, role model, wrong word. Our, 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 our North Star uh, is the Black Series and Classified. And you're going to try and get these in like retail, big box stores? Yeah, I mean, our model is, so we start with our own DTC, then it goes to all the mom and pops, and then it goes to the big box. So we, you know, we have a whole uh, feature with Walmart right now for the Nacelleverse. Right. So in about oh, almost three quarters of Walmarts in the U.S., you can go in, you can see our feature, and that's um, RoboForce, Biker Mice from Mars, Sectors, um, uh, Barnyard Commandos, and The Great Garlou, all in Walmart now. And then, yes, we would hope to bring Star Trek there as well. Now, speaking of segue into Biker Mice, <laughs> that is now hitting uh, Walmart now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Biker Mice has been in Walmart. Our first thing we ever had in stores in Walmarts was Biker Mice. And they sold really well, and now they're a part of our bigger plan. So you can get them either Biker Mice at our feature, or you can get them in the collectible space as well uh, at Walmart. And uh, they, they are priced to move. They are priced to move. No, I, I mean, all jokes aside, I'm, you know, we have to make money. Right. Like, if we right, lose right. money, we can't keep making toys. We have to make money. But you you got to get the price point down. Uh, these are tough times. Yep. Inflation is insane. So we're really trying to do everything we can for all of our toys to be twenty nine ninety nine at the most. And at Walmart, we have a, a whole bunch of what we're selling is considerably below twenty nine ninety nine. So that's a, a big part of what we're trying to do is get this this like high quality at good prices we'd rather set, we'd rather make like and i didn't go to business school so i'm always like look at this science i've created um but it obviously i didn't create it it's just if you can give a lot of value for a price people will hopefully trust your brand and buy more so i'd rather make less money for fig per figure and right. sell more figures than be the opposite of that. Like I always say, long before we ever did a deal with Walmart, I mean, I've been saying this for probably 20 years, I wanted to be Walmart, I never wanted to be Tiffany's. Like I don't want to make expensive products right. for few people. I want to make high quality stuff for as many people as possible with a low price point. And the, the trick to that, I mean, who wouldn't want to do that? But the trick is, you need to guess correctly on what people are going to want so you get the volume that allows you to be profitable without either not doing it at all or raising prices or whatever. So that's that's our model. Cool. And 
I, I'm starting to see more and more of the Steelverse move. You know, Oni Press putting out those books. You've got some really, you know, veterans working on them. It, it's. Uh, I just got the announcement the other day about the Power Lords coming out in comics. It's just. You really just. It's. You know, the, the niche that you got is just amazing. I, I, I mean, I, for years, I was saying over and over and over again, I, I, I probably said it to you, um, this is all so surreal. Everything is surreal, surreal, surreal. After we got the Star Trek license, the only thing I can say, and I mean, I, I mean this as though I'm telling you the sky is blue and grass is green. I, I feel like I'm in a dream. I, I mean, I feel like I'm in a, a, an awake dream or a living dream, whatever kind of dream. I cannot believe any of this is real. I, I have Star Trek artwork on my walls in my office. I don't know if you know this or not, but nacelle is, a, it's technically not a Star Trek term, but I would argue 95% of anyone alive today who knows what a nacelle is or knows the word, they learned it through Star Trek. So the fact that like I'm sitting there talking to executives at Paramount Global about Wayun and uh, the, the Peter Midshipman Peter Preston, like I mean I cannot believe any of this is happening. <laughs> yeah, it's very strange. It's so funny. It's just like the first time I spoke to it's like way back when with the season one of Toys that made us an hour like here you are. Yeah. It's, it's surreal. It's yeah. like really weird. Yeah. On, only here. Only in this country. Yeah. This wouldn't happen anywhere else. Yeah. Very lucky. It's just, yeah, it always just amazes me just how everything is like so circular. It just keeps coming back and yeah. around. And it's, you know, you introduce it, you get the old fans, then they introduce it to the new fans. And well, it's funny. I get asked a lot. Why don't we create our own characters? And what I always say is, well, first of all, we kind of do. So like Robo Force season one, the cartoon, mm -hmm. um, that's the one we're doing with The Rock. There are characters in that show that are now a part of Robo Force that we invented. But as it relates to the bigger issue and the real question, why don't you just create your own stuff? Why are you buying old IPs? The answer is, they're great. And they're battle tested. So like, why would we create our own thing when Biker Mice from Mars already comes with millions of fans? And it was kind of neglected for a long time. So, you know, I have no ego about it. I, I just want to entertain people and get to make what we make. That's all I want to do. So people have been talking about Biker Mice from yeah. Mars for like, before you picked up the license, yeah. they, were, they were still raving yeah. about it. Yeah, it just... exactly. Yeah. It's crazy, really. I, no one thinks it's crazier than me. I can assure you of that. I literally bumped into a guy. I used, so I used to be a manager. I represented comedians. That's all I did for the first 10 years of my career. And I bumped into a guy at an airport a couple weeks ago uh, who I hadn't seen um, in, in probably 10 years, maybe more. And we talked and everything, and it was all cool. And then we got on the plane. We uh, flew to, I think we were going to, um, I think we are going to Chicago. Yeah, 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 I was in Chicago. So we're at Chicago, we're at, you know, I'm standing there waiting for my luggage on the carousel. And uh, yeah, the guy comes up to me and he goes, you're making toys now? <laughs> and I'm like, yeah. Well, he goes, yeah, I just, I Googled you while I was on the plane and I thought I had the wrong Brian Volkweiss. <laughs> Why are you making toys? And I'm like, well, you know, I love toys. He's like, no, I know you love toys. A lot of people love toys. Why are you making them? And it was just listening to his point of view, where I'm like, yeah, this is really fucking crazy. <laughs> like, this should not be happening. Yeah, yeah, it was nuts. Absolutely nuts. So what's it like for you, like, having all your, your hands and all these different parts? I mean, it's the greatest thing in the world. I, um, I think I have what I like to call... Um, contained ADD so you know it's like because everything goes back to Star Trek you know like the engines in Star Trek you know they mix matter and antimatter and that provides unlimited power 
that's the good news. The bad news, uh, they're really not supposed to touch each other, and, and that could tear a hole in the universe. So the engines literally have to take something that is constantly on the verge of exploding and keep it cool for 50 years of, of the lifespan of the ship. And that's what I always say, like, I have contained ADD. So ADD is normally a very bad thing. Being overly contained as a business owner could be a bad thing. But by combining them, and by the way, I didn't do this on purpose. Like, <laughs> like I started off crazy ADD, made a zillion, bazillion mistakes, and slowly as I got older, was able to like get it in like the, the my own dilithium chamber or whatever. But um, so to answer your question, it's the greatest thing in the world. Because I'll be like, I feel like most people, every Zoom they do in a day is kind of about the same thing. Like I could have a Zoom at nine, which is about a documentary we're about to start work on. I could have a Zoom at 10 uh, with the factory in China that we're renegotiating with. Like every everything we do is so different. It allows me to just constantly keep jumping from like business unit to business unit. And it's, it's the best. I always say I have what I like to call um, an Indiana Jones job. And what I mean by that is think about Indiana Jones. Half the year he's teaching in a school like any other teacher. Half the year he's going around the jungle getting people shooting at <laughs> and And I feel like that's my thing where like a lot of my time is spent CEOing, whatever that really is, for me at least. And then the other half, I'm in the field directing. I directed RoboForce season one. I wrote the theme song, the lyrics, like, and, and then I get to go to three finance meetings a week uh, <laughs> and, and look at spreadsheets. So it, it's a very odd job, but I love it. It, it, get, it gets I, I, I feel like I'm having like a Benjamin Button career, and that <laughs> I'm way happier at 48 than I was at 28 or 38. Yeah, it's weird. It really is crazy. So is there, um, just going back to the toys that made us, do we have them like, uh, when are you trying to shoot for? Uh, we are in, we're researching now, so we're in okay. pre-pro now. We start shooting in Q1, and God willing, season four comes out Q4. Right. Yeah. Star Trek, which is working on now. Yeah. Obviously, Biker Mice from Mars, which is in Biker Mice from Mars, the bikes come out this year. I, uh, they, they are literally being made as we speak. Uh, they should be on the water in about two weeks, and then it takes about another month to get here. <laughs> so we should, I don't think everybody is going to get a bike this year, unfortunately, but I think probably 75 to 85 percent of the people who order, especially the stores, they'll have the bikes this year. Next year we got wave two of RoboForce, Biker Mice from Mars, Sectars with the Bugs, um, all of those are coming out next year. Star Trek's coming out next year. Expanse is coming out next year. And my, I'm sure I'm forgetting something. I, I always, I'm, I have this weird thing with lists where, like, if there's a list of ten, I always remember nine. If there's a list of eight, I always remember seven. Um, so, yeah, so I'm sure I just forgot something. Can't wait. We're looking forward to all of it. Thank you. Very kind. Thanks for speaking to us, Brian. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Always fun. <laughs> yeah.